Welcome to Watch Me Code. In the previous episode, we built a plugin for Backbone.js from the ground up, and we created a release of that plugin before pushing it up to GitHub. I've made a few changes to the project already, and I've done another release. And I'm also starting to think about additional features and changes that need to be put in place. One of those features that I want to include is not a functional feature though, but a packaging and deployment feature. I want to make sure that my plugin is compatible with AMD, the asynchronous module definition, so that it can run inside of require.js and other AMD loaders. But I also want to make sure that I don't break the plugin for those that aren't using require.js, which includes me. To make both of these scenarios work then, I'm going to modify the grunt build process to produce both a standard version of the library and an AMD compatible version. And to do this, I'm going to use some code from the UMDJS repository on GitHub, a tool called Rigger, and a grunt plugin for the Rigger tool. So there's a number of options that we have for getting AMD support into the Siphon plugin. And for me, what I like to do is use the code provided by this UMDJS repository on GitHub. And the, the purpose of this repository is to provide example code for how to create support for a lot of different module definitions and module types, including AMD for browsers, uh, common JS uh, modules, including Node.js, and more. And there's several different options that we could look at. Um, there's one that works for web only, uh, including the use of AMD in require.js and just as a standard browser global. There's one that includes that plus Node.js and then strict common JS environments, uh, jQuery plugins, and more. Uh, so what, the one I'm going to use is going to be this simple AMD web, because I don't really care about Node.js support in this case. I just want to get AMD support in place. But I'm going to modify this slightly because I don't really need to export to a global root object the way that this uh, template works by default. And I don't need to do that because I'm already attaching to a global object being Backbone. So I'm going to take this code here, and inside of my Siphon plugin, I'm going to create a new file in my source folder called amd.js. Source slash amd.js. I'm going to paste that code that I got off of the website. I'm going to make a few changes here. Um, this particular plugin needs backbone, and it needs underscore, and it needs jQuery. So I'm going to, going to include all of those inside of this define here for AMD. So that'll be backbone, jQuery. Actually, I need to specify both of those before backbone. So I need to say underscore jQuery and backbone. And like I said, I really don't need to export this browser global at all because we're attaching to the backbone object or namespace. So I'm going to get rid of that. And for our module definition, I'm going to change this to include the three libraries that we imported with the require or with the AMD um, define function there. Now this is the basics of what I need in order to support AMD inside of my Siphon plugin. But to get it complete, to really finish it out, what I need to do is include all of the contents of Siphon right here. And by including all of the contents of the Siphon plugin right here, we'll be able to use that plugin 
inside of AMD and RequireJS. But I don't want to have to copy all of the code into here every time I need to do a build. That would be tedious and frustrating, and I just wouldn't want to support it that way. So what we're going to do instead is use a tool called Rigger. And this tool, what it does basically is allows you to do includes in your JavaScript files or imports, basically. I can set up a JavaScript file that has a specially formatted comment, and this comment will be used to tell the Rigger plugin, the Rigger tool, what file to go out and grab and import into the location of this comment. So in other words, by putting a simple slash slash equals source slash backbone dot siphon dot JS, by including this line right here, I'll be able to take all of the contents of the siphon plugin and import it into this particular location in this particular file. So that's what Rigger is going to do for us. Then we're going to use a plugin for Grunt called Grunt Rigger, which makes all of the Rigger functionality available to us in our Grunt build process. And unfortunately, there is really not much for documentation on Grunt Rigger. It actually took me a little bit to figure this out with the help of some people on Twitter. But once I figured it out, it worked pretty well. Rigger itself has better documentation, so the tool itself is, is fairly well documented. It's just the plugin that's not documented at all. One thing we need to do in order to get Rigger in place and the Grunt Rigger plugin in place is set up not only our Grunt file, but the Node Package Manager or NPM dependencies. And to do that, I'm going to start by creating a file called package.js, and that'll live in the root of the project here. I'm sorry, package.json. And this package.json file is read by npm in order to do a number of different things, including build your package for your project, but also to manage dependencies for the project. I'm required to have a name in here, so I'm going to go ahead and put backbone.siphon. And I don't remember if I'm required to have a version, but I'm going to go ahead and put a, a version in here. But the thing that I really care about is not the name or the version, but the dependencies. And what I'm going to do is specify Grunt as a dependency. I'm not really sure what version of Grunt I'm depending on at this point, so I'm just going to put star. And I'm going to specify Grunt Rigger as well. And the Grunt Rigger package is going to include the Rigger tool for us, so we don't have to specify that one independently. Save this, and we can see it in our file system now. So drop back, over the, drop back over to the command line here, and we can run npm install, which is going to read those dependencies from our package.json file, install everything for us, and give us access to Grunt and the Grunt Rigger tool. So in my grunt.js file, there's a line that I need to add here in order to import the grunt rigger plugin. I'm going to grab that from the grunt rigger website here. Paste that into my grunt file. So now we're going to make several changes to our grunt file in order to get the rigger plugin working. First thing I want to do, I don't really want to lint all of the files inside of the source folder anymore. I don't really want to lint that AMD.js file. 
I just want to lint the backbone siphon file. So I'm going to specify backbone siphon there. I'm going to leave the concatenation task as is, but I'm going to add a rig task. Now this rig task is the rigger tool and the grunt rigger plugin. Of course, I would have expected that to be called rigger, but the actual task name is rig. And I'm going to specify an AMD configuration for this, because that's what we're dealing with, with our rigging. It's going to have a source. And I'm going to use the banner, meta banner here. This is going to concatenate the banner on top of our AMD JS output for us. So I'm not going to use the concat task for that. I'm going to use the rig task for that. And this is going to come from source slash amd.js. And it's going to have a destination of lib slash amd slash backbone dot siphon dot js. And now we need to go change our task list so that after we run the concatenation, we run the rigging. And there's actually a small error in this amdjs file. I had originally specified jQuery as a name right here instead of dollar sign. And I had the wrong folder here for the import. Actually just needs to be relative to the amdjs file. So I'm going to leave it like this. Then the one last thing I want to do is add a return backbone.siphon right here. And what that's going to do is essentially export the backbone siphon plugin from the AMD module, which will make it just a little bit easier to use in some scenarios with AMD. With all of that in place now, I should be able to go over here, run grunt. No errors, that's good. Now refresh our folder system, and we can see that this lib amd folder is there with the backbone siphon file in it. And it has our amd compatible version of backbone.siphon. We can see that we have our banner in place. We've got the amd wrapper. We've got siphon itself. And at the very bottom of the file, we're returning backbone.siphon. Now we haven't produced a minified version of this though. So let's get that done real quick. I'm going to copy this min uh, configuration here, and I'm going to rename this to standard and change this one to AMD. So now in the configuration here, instead of looking at the concatenation distribution, I'm going to look at the rig AMD destination because we've defined a rig AMD destination. And the destination of this is going to be lib AMD backbone.siphon.min. Now when I run grunt again, refresh my file system, I now have a minified version of the AMD wrapper. The last thing I want to do then is update the readme file. Now that we have AMD builds, I want to include links to those along with the standard builds. And all I need to do is change this link to add slash AMD to the folder. And we should be good to go. The last thing I want to do then is ignore this node NPM packages folder here, this node modules folder. I don't want to include all of that in my Git repository. Uh, so I'm going to add that to my Git ignore file. Node modules, 
And then I can add everything. Make my commit. Push everything on up to GitHub. Not sure why that happened. And when we go look at the project on GitHub again, our readme now has the AMD and RequireJS compatible builds. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Watch Me Code. For more information on Grunt, Rigor, and the UMDJS modules, please see the following links and the resources file included with the episode. And as always, check out watchmecode.net for more episodes and sign up for the mailing list so you can be notified of new episode releases. <laughs>